Hey guys, in this video, let's go ahead and see if we can recreate this uh, kind of a famous Despicable Me um, animation from um, from the movie. So the uh, rig of Guru was just recently added and you can download it for free. And it's uh, created specifically for educational reasons uh, so you can play around and learn animation. So to grab the rig, uh, head over to this website called Agora Community and I'll link, uh, I'll include a link uh, to uh, this model or this rig, right? So you can download it. And there's a couple different versions. You can download it for um, Blender or Maya. So go ahead and download that and let's meet in, uh, let's go ahead and meet in Maya. Right, so I'm gonna do it with you. I'm gonna go ahead and say file open and I'm gonna navigate to my Guru Maya file and go ahead and open it up. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing once it loads. Uh, I'm gonna click on Guru, I'm gonna press F and see if I can focus a little bit better. And um, when I open the file, right, I'm not seeing the texture show up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Windows, General Editors, and I'm gonna go to File Path. And I can see that this file comes in with all these um, uh, textures that are not currently being uh, found. So I'm gonna select one of them. I'm gonna say Repath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate over to the file that I don't downloaded from Agora, right? And I'm just gonna simply say set and I'm gonna say repath. And let's go ahead and do that for uh, every single one of these, right? All right, very cool. So that should take uh, care of the textures and now Maya knows where the files are located and this, this is what you should see. If I zoom in, I can see that um, there's some strangeness going on with the normal map. So uh, to fix that, uh, you know, if you're far away, it's not a big deal. But if you did want to fix that, uh, it's pretty easy, right? You can just go to Outliner, go to Geometry, and let's open up the Geo. And here we can see um, all the different parts, right? The one that I'm looking for is called Face. I'm going to select that, right click, go to Material Attribute. And uh, if in the uh, attribute editor, let me, let, me, let me try this again, material attribute. Uh, in the attribute editor, you can see there's something called bump, bump mapping, and that's the detail that you're seeing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it, and then I'm gonna click on this button up here, and I'm gonna switch this uh, bump as uh, space normals. And that should fix it. You could still see the kind of the pores, but it's not um, as crazy, right? All right, so that's a little bit better. Now let's go ahead and take a uh, look at the rig and see how it works, right? So uh, there's a lot of uh, controllers here and this looks very overwhelming, um, honestly. So what we could do is let's go to the channel box and let's turn off, um, we can see that we can control the face controllers, these are the body controllers, and then of course this is the mesh, right? So for now, uh, let's go ahead and maybe turn off the face controller and let's just uh, take a look and see how this works, right? So if I grab, for example, the foot and press W on my keyboard, I can see that this is gonna uh, obviously lift the foot, right? All right. So let's take a look at these. So there's a couple controllers here for the toes. If I select this, for example, and attempt to move it, you can see that you can do kind of a, a rolling foot uh, effect. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And this is... Uh, Right, this one is gonna actually bend the foot, which is really, really cool. If we click on this main one and press W, we should be able to move the character around, right? That's what that's for. Uh, these right here will control the direction of the knees. Uh, very nice. Let's click on this uh, red one and try to move it up and down. That's gonna be squish and uh, stretch. If I click on this one, all right, let's select this controller here with the arrows, and that's going to drive uh, the entire uh, character, right? So we can get them bending, very cool. And uh, if I select this blue, let's, uh, let's select actually the shoulders and take a look. So this is gonna be able to control the shoulders. If we grab both of them, we can do kind of uh, funny animations with that. Uh, if we select this top one, press E, we can of course control his head, which is really cool. If you wanted to move the uh, scarf around, I can see a little controller here for that as well, which is really cool. For the arms, I'm gonna grab this blue one and see if I can control the arm, and I can. Uh, very cool. 
and usually uh, these little gears will allow you to switch between uh, forward kinematics and forward and inverse kinematics, right? So if I wanted to, um, for example, right now I'm driving it as a forward kinematics, right? It's going forward from the shoulder to the wrist. But if I wanted to switch this to, for example, uh, inverse, right? It looks like I can turn on um, this blend and now this blue box appears, right? And now if I press W, this arm is gonna drive, um, this uh, hand is gonna drive the whole arm. So it's inverse, right? So that's really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and maybe put that back for now until we figure out what we wanna do. Uh, very nice. So now uh, the other thing that I wanna point out and uh, you know what, just in case, let's go ahead and take a look at these here. Now let's see how this works. If I select uh, one of these and try to move them around, you can see I can move the eye. I can hold on the shift key, select both of them and I can control his eyes that way. Let's go ahead and select both of these up here. That's gonna be his eyebrows. All right, so let's play with this. If I grab these top ones, um, you can see that these are gonna be the kind of the top eyelids, right, and the eyes. If I grab these, that's gonna be kind of the bottom eyelid, which is really cool. Uh, these right here are gonna be your nostrils. All right, this one is gonna be some uh, cool for some cool facial expressions. And this one right here is gonna be uh, for speech, right? So you can actually create full on uh, lip syncing using this controller right here, which is really nice. We can create control his smile, right, on both sides. Uh, very nice. And of course, these are gonna be here just to help you select the main controller. So if I select this nose here, press E, I can then move the nose around and uh, and so on. But for now, let's go ahead and turn these face ones off. And let's just uh, focus on uh, kind of the main controllers, right? So the idea here is to follow uh, some kind of a reference. So in Pure Ref, uh, I wanted to bring this up as well. If you download the latest version of Pure Ref, it's going to allow you to um, uh, drag GIF files into it. So let me show you. So in this case, I um, have this GIF file that I just simply dragged right into uh, PureRef 2.0. And if I press play, uh, you can see that it's going to now um, play the GIF file and I can use that as my reference um, you know, for my animations, which is really cool. Now, if I click on this little button right here, it's actually even gonna show me an entire flipbook, but I don't think we actually need that. Let's just keep this running, make it kind of small and just put it um, on top. All right, and now let's go ahead and start uh, kind of posing uh, our character. And obviously I'm sure this took many, many weeks, if not months of work to uh, perfect all of this, but let's see if we can just block this, kind of a block out a similar animation, but you know, maybe a lot simpler, right? What would be the process of blocking this um, character into uh, this sequence? So I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the 24 frames per second and I'm gonna switch my timeline. Let's just do something like 20 frames. So like a simple loop, right? So on 10, he's gonna be kind of uh, folding in and then on zero and 20, he's gonna be like in this pose where his elbows are out and he's bending down, right? Um, all right, so let's do this. So I'm gonna go to frame zero, select all of the controllers and I'm gonna press S. And that's gonna, um, you can see that all the keys have been set for all the controllers, right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna start putting him in that initial pose, uh, which is, maybe let's pause that uh, right here. Let's go ahead and go to frame one and let's just take a look. So initially his knees are bent a little bit and his um, elbows are out, right? And his head is kind of pointing, you know, to the right. So let's do the easiest thing first. I'm gonna grab his head, press uh, E on my keyboard, and I'm just gonna kind of match what I'm seeing there, right? So just do something like this. And again, we're just blocking out, so don't you don't have to worry about this being perfect or anything. So let's do something like that. That's gonna be our first uh, keyframe for that. Now, uh, before we worry about the arms, let's take a look and see what's going on with his belly. So he's kind of, his chest is kind of popped up. 
So maybe what I could do is let's grab this chest con controller and let's see if we can maybe do something like that. Press W and maybe move it forward. All right, so I'm trying to puff up his chest a little bit. I can do something like that. And let me see what this green one, uh, this green controller does. All right, let me see this red one. Yeah, so that's what I want. I want to kind of pop up this chest uh, like this a little more. All right, so that's good. Now, uh, next, let's worry about the fact that he's bending down a little bit, right? So I'm going to click on these big green arrows and just kind of put, put him down. And I can also see that his body is turned a little bit to the his left. So I'm going to press uh, E and turn the body over just a little bit. And um, I'm also going to, let's go ahead and grab both of his feet and turn them over as well, right? Because you can see the knees are kind of following along. And uh, if we wanted to, we can even grab both of these controllers, press W and move this over a little, just slightly. All right, so now that's gonna give us kind of the leg, the legs, the body, and we got the, um, the head, maybe mine's turned a little too much. All right, and now let's go ahead and put the arms up, right? How do we do that? So I'm gonna um, grab these shoulders, both of them, and I'm gonna make sure I'm in object mode, and let me just move them up. So move them uh, something like that. Let's go ahead and grab this controller here and this controller here. Again, I'm in object mode, and let me just see if I can move them up as well. All right. And I probably also want to twist them a little more. So let's twist them uh, this way, right? Because the elbows are actually pointing uh, down, right? So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of find uh, that angle and uh, we can adjust this in a second. Let's also actually bend these and that's going to help us figure out where the elbows are. So let's bend these in, right? Like that. Uh, and I'm going to grab this controller here and I'm just get, grabbing these blue ones, holding down the shift key. I can select both of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move them up. Okay. And I know I'm tearing this a little, uh, a little bit. So maybe what I could do is let me just also uh, press W and see if I can move this down. Okay. Very cool. Now let's go ahead and also you can see that his um, arms or hands are in fists, right? So let's put them in fists. How do we do that? I'm going to select all of these controllers by just dragging over them. Mm -hmm. Press uh, E and let me just simply bend them in. So we'll do this one, select all of these and bend them in as well. Okay. And now for um, the thumb, I'm going to bend the thumb in. I think that works and of course this again this is just blocking right so we're kind of doing it super fast but um, I think that works all right very cool so now that's gonna be uh, his initial pose and we can adjust this if we needed to let's let me um, grab this blue one hold sh uh, shift press W and maybe move this up a little all right, and then I feel I feel like this angle right here is a lot uh, larger than ours, right? So I'm going to select both of these, press E, and let me just move this down. All right, very cool. So then I have something like this as my initial pose. Again, because we set a key for everything, right? All the keys are set, and then this button is pressed right here called Auto Keyframe Toggle. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy it go to uh, frame 20 and I'm going to paste it. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating a loop between uh, 0 and 20 at 24 frames per second, right? So obviously if I press play, nothing is going to happen. But now what we should do is let's find the middle uh, pose, right? So I can just drag and find what happens in the middle. And in the middle right here, you can see that he kind of scrunches in. Right, so he's just going, going, um, it's kind of bending down and scrunching in. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 
Uh, let me select all these again. And let's find the middle, which is gonna be 10. I'm gonna press S. And now let's start putting him in the new pose. So I'm gonna grab this, uh, press W, and I'm gonna move him down. Okay. Very cool. We can already play this, right? So that's pretty cool. We can figure out if timing works. If we like the timing of this or if he's doing it a little too fast or too slow. I think it's pretty good. We can always adjust the timing. But uh, let's say this works. Uh, so that's gonna be that. And then his chest is also going to bend in. So I'm gonna select that, press E. And let's just kind of squeeze that in or do something like that. Maybe grab this one too. And instead of puffing that out, I can do W and maybe push this back a little. All right. And now, of course, the arms, right? I'm gonna grab both of these arms. Uh, these blue, I'm, I'm gra grabbing these blue controllers here, holding down the shift key. I'm gonna press E. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just rotate them in and do something like that and it looks like the elbows are kind of pointing in maybe like that so something like that all right and let's go ahead and press play let's zoom out and press play and see what we got all right so the timing is definitely off right so and also it feels like he's um, when he goes on 10 or in the middle, right? It, it feels like the knees are pushing way to the left. So I'm gonna, or uh, his left, right? So I'm gonna press W and let me just move these over. All right, and let me press play. All right, so we're getting there. So you can see how blocking works, right? Blocking just means you're doing it piece by piece. And you know, it's a, it's a, uh, it takes a long time and you just have to keep adjusting things to make them look better and better. So for the scarf, for example, I can see the scarf is not uh, looking right. So maybe what I could do is press uh, E and on, on 10, I'm gonna move this up. And he doesn't have a scarf there, but, but our model has a scarf. So let's just adjust this maybe like this, just so it's out a little more. Now, if I press play, it should bounce a little more okay and then of course we can adjust this too just have a little fun right do something like that and again this is very time consuming but this is kind of a simplified uh, blocking out um, experiment right and at this point, if you wanted to adjust the timing, you guys should know how to do that by now, right? You just simply select all of this. And as long as you move these keys around, so if I, uh, for example, um, hold on, if I click on this 10, uh, hold on the shift key and then click on it again, you can see um, this kind of gets highlighted. So now I can grab this middle one and start dragging it over. So let me go to like frame seven. Uh, I can do the same thing with this. Let me put this on frame 14, change my timeline from 20 to 14, right? And now I just adjusted the timing. If I press play, it's gonna be doing it much, much faster. So that's kind of a fun way to uh, play around, right? And now we have kind of a uh, kind of a basic block out for this animation. All right, so I encourage you to uh, play around. Uh, don't get scared by all of these controllers. Um, it's actually not that bad. It's not that intimidating once you start playing around with it. It's com kind of common sense, but um, it's definitely a lot of fun. And this is a great resource to uh, dive into animation and start adding things to your uh, portfolio and just creating fun, creative, um, you know, things that um, are unique and um, you know, I would strongly suggest following references like these initially, but then later you can start experimenting with your own uh, unique stuff. But all right, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys in our next video.